Hello friends, Christian here with Brick Life Crisis, and today I'm joined by my nephews Milo and Kyler. Don't step on that silly. And we have a little bit of a haul video. Don't do it, I'll punch you in the nose. We have the Spider-Man minifigure collector set. We have two Ninjago Legacy sets and two Lego City Space sets. And I'm gonna craft this one open. Watch. All right, now that we've calmed that down a little bit, we have these five sets, and we're gonna start with five sets. this Whoa. one right here. That's coming up next. Don't do that. Hello friends, Christian here with Brick Life Crisis, and today <laughs> I'm joined by two of my nephews. They are named Milo and Kyler. Milo and Kyler. And how old are you, Milo? Three. Three. And, I, and I just turned four on my birthday. No, I'm you five. You turned five, yeah. Okay. On my birthday. And today we're taking a look at Lego Ninjago I set number. I turned this on my birthday. On your birthday, you're going to be four. Your birthday's in August. And you're going to be four. Today we're I looking at Ninjago Legacy set birthday. number 70665. Samurai Mech, 154 pieces and three minifigures. Let's Maybe. open it up and take a look. Okay, and I'm gonna punch it open. Okay, okay, okay. Don't beat it up. Don't beat it up. Don't beat. All right, and here we have 70665, the Samurai Mech. This is from uh, Series One, and as you can see, we have the Mech, uh, and inside is uh, Samurai X or Nia. And there are two skeleton warriors, one with a mohawk and the other with a helmet. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at each of these figures and then the mech. And this is one of our skeleton warriors with that really large blade on that sword. Uh, the skeleton is what you've seen before. Uh, that head is a bit different though, that's a sculpted head rather than a typical Lego head. And there's a little bit of printing on the waist as you can see. And then he has the Samurai pauldrons and helmet. Here's our other skeleton warrior. Uh, this is my favorite of the two. I really like that mohawk piece. I think that's fun. Uh, you get a little bit better look at the skull, um, and that printing is really nice with those red eyes. A little bit of print on the waist, as you can see. He has those same pauldrons, and he has a bone axe, which is kind of a, a cool weapon. Not a bad looking figure. I like him quite a bit, actually. And here we have Samurai X, or Nia. I always like to call her Nia because, you know, my niece. Um, but this is not a bad figure. One thing I really dislike, and it's not really the fault of anyone, it's just this uh, armor piece on the helmet, the red piece, falls off so easily, um, and it flies across the room. I, I don't like it. Um, and the handle, uh, the bucket handle for the... Uh, accessory on the top not a big fan of that look either so personally I would rather just have her like that but um, the build has her with those other pieces uh, this is the uh, face and alternate face which is a little bit happier if we remove the armor you get a better look at the print which is pretty good nicely done and uh, nice to have some print on the waist and legs as well and the printer on the back is not bad either. And again, alternate face. Not a bad looking figure. Yeah, pretty fierce. So the mech build I think is pretty cool. He's fairly well articulated at the hips and at the ankle. Uh, it doesn't bend at the knee of course, but you've got plenty of posability here. He's also articulated at the shoulder, at the elbow. Um, on the one arm he has a couple of uh, katanas or samurai swords in gold. And then he has this large sword that's uh, built up uh, in the other hand. Up at the top we have a couple of stud shooters with little blue studs. And then there's a flag there. And then of course you can take out your Samurai X. Um, without the figure in there, the mech is still okay, but then there's no head of course. Uh, around the back, um, not quite as pretty to look at, but not too bad. They've done a fairly good job of covering up the anti-studs with the exception of this area here. Um, you can see the ball joints down at the bottom, but still not bad. I think it's a pretty decent little build. Um, this is a sticker here. The stickers on the flags 
and stickers on the shoulder armor. Uh, so a few stickers in the set, but uh, it does add quite a bit to the detail, I think. And uh, overall, not bad. I'll get you. I messed up my hurl cut. Oh, my guy fell out. Oh no, look at that. He's gone now. Can you put him back in? He goes right there. You do it. Shaggy guy! No. That's, what, that's where it goes. You got it right. I can't. Okay, hold on. Okay, he's back up and running. Oh, 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 ow, that didn't last long. He's totally dead now. Mm. All right, what do you guys think? Is this a fun set? Yes. Yeah, do you like Lego Ninjago? Mm -hmm. Yes, and next, we're going to open this. Ah. <laughs> no, oh, doing videos with a three and a five-year-old. Good times. So this set retails for about $15 here in the U.S. This was picked up at the Lego store in Las Vegas, Nevada. However, it's available at Walmart and Target and places like that as well. Pretty widely available anyway. Um, not a bad deal for three minifigures and a pretty decent build of a mech. Um, I'm not a huge Ninjago fan, but my nephews enjoyed it, so that in and of itself made it worth it for me. So anyway, this has been Christian with Brick Life Crisis. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave us a like. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye for now.